Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the new YBN Corday record, Lost Boy. This is the debut album from jazz rapper YBN Corday. This project has been hyped up quite a bit, and I figured, hey, let's listen to it and see if it's worth anything. Let's put in my two cents. It would help if Canada actually had pennies still, and I could put in cents. It would also help if I made sense in my videos too, but... <laughs> I'll do my best here, whatever I can say about this record. Jazz rap, this is what this is going for. I think back to a record earlier this year that I should have reviewed, it was by Quelle Chris Guns, a jazz rap album as well, and I started to pick up on the similarities between these two artists. I lumped them into the same kind of bracket of jazz rap. We have uh, some cool and distant deliveries to their vocals and uh, some flourishes of piano. Now with jazz rap, that is a genre that can see a little off-putting if you weave in too many jazz elements that kind of put yourself to sleep. But the most enticing and interesting thing going on for YBN Corday is he's like this bridging, uh, this bridging piece. He's bridging the gap between old and new school hip hop. After all, YBN Corday is 22 years old, so you know he's gonna uh, have an in with the younger audience. He can also pay tribute and uh, serve an homage to uh, past rappers like Lil Wayne. He's even noted Jay-Z as an influence, and he's also recognized that Kanye West has been a pretty big push for his music. He's even referenced some of the, the newer conscious rappers like J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Again, really just bridging this gap. He's a young guy and he can respect what came before him. Now diving into the track list, and this is where I want to split things up. I want to do like a, a three-part breakdown. First part being influences. I want to talk about the songs that we can correlate and just pinpoint that song that sounds like it's being influenced by a previous artist. I also want to talk about some of the modern hip-hop elements that are weaved into YBN Corday's sound. And I also want to talk about the grown-up and sensible kind of lyrics that he has going for him. First up with influences, we have a track called Lost and Found where we see like this Nas kind of flow, very tight with its cadence and flow, and it has some reverberating 808s and horns that round out this closing track. The song Been Around has some sleek and smooth guitar loop to it. It's like Khalid, which is newer style. I know it's still an influence though. And Dev Hines of Blood Orange. And it's like those two artists coming together and having a baby. The track Thanksgiving sounds like Quelle Chris, who I referenced earlier in this video with the cold and cool delivery. Thousand Words has some singing that is reminiscent of Lil Wayne, but also being mixed in with some logic. It's that old new school mix going on here. And Nightmares Are Real featuring Pusha T. Uh, Push has kind of balanced himself between older school rap and newer styles. But with Pusha T on this record here, he's definitely sounding like he has over the past like five, six years, very confident. Uh, he has very tight flows and very cold biting Oh, just so good. Now for the modern hip hop, the track I would most recommend off this record, RNP, that's the name of it. It features Anderson Pack. So if you're a fan of Anderson Pack, it's a must listen. It's also a great track if you're trying to get into YBN Corday's style and sound. Um, there are some great trade-offs and great chemistry between these two artists on this song. It's bouncy, it's bumpy, it has uh, this instrumental, which is pretty jerky yet lively. There are also funny bars from both artists, Anderson and Corday. I just really want to drive home that point. Great chemistry is on this track. You can actually tell that nothing was being phoned in here. They were both in the studio recording this together. Like, there's no other way that this could have happened. At least I hope it wasn't. And even if they did phone it in, like, they convinced me that this is a true collaboration. And that's amazing because we're living in this time where features tend to be a, an easy excuse to like hype up a track. You know, you gotta get the biggest artists together just to get people talking and raving. But most of the time features are just like half-assed or they're just like, put together for a record label that, you know, is trying to promote an album even more. It's nice when you actually have a collaboration where we have exchanged vocals back and forth, and I think of a track like Me with Taylor Swift and Brendan Yuri of Panic at the Disco. I know it's a, a corny little track, but like, it's these kinds of songs that I really enjoy because you can tell that the artists put in the effort to uh, be singing together, to be rapping together. Uh, obviously not in the case of the Taylor Swift track, they went 
might be rapping, but uh, at least with this YBN Corday track, I can tell that these rappers are here to rap together. Moving on from there, the Chance the Rapper feature on this record is also uh, an upside to this record, I think. He definitely sounds a lot better than what he did on The Big Day. Chance has some funny bars. I, I always laugh at the line about Cartman from South Park. Sonically for the track, I, I adore the chipmunk vocal samples much more than what it was on The Big Day. And lastly, for the modern hip hop elements being thrown onto this album, I would recommend the song Broke as F. This one takes on some unexpected compositional twists and turns from a, a harder psychedelic Travis Scott type beat and then it morphs into this piano led instrumental very encapsulating and compelling. For a debut rap album, what else would I expect? I would hope for some decent lyrics. I mean, we're also living in that age where lyrics tend to be put backseat. Sometimes at least, maybe not with like Kendrick Lamar, and it's always a good influence and a good inspiration to have for this record if you do uh, take stride from him. I feel like we're actually discussing some important topics on this album, The Lost Boy. Family Matters is a track that really has some mature songs writing for it with some personal family drug related issues. Grandma's House is a track that always gets me smiling even if the vocals and rhythms aren't perfect. I think this is intentionally done that way just to bring everyone in and listen closer. It almost makes you feel like you're actually at church as we have some vocals being added on to the track as it advances and stomps onwards. And lastly I'm going to bring up the Pusha T track again, Nightmares Are Real. I feel like the lyrics on here are enforcing where you come from and how death can change you forever, which is a, a very insightful topic to have on a debut record. So The Lost Boy as a record overall, I am very much impressed. I, I think this is a, a solid starting point. It's not like album of the year worthy. Uh, there are some songs that I do skip in the grand scheme of things, but I'm feeling a, a solid seven out of 10 on this. And I feel like as time goes on, it might actually grow on me a bit more. And who knows, maybe years down the road, this album will be looked back on very fondly. And I'm, I'm, I'm confident at putting this at a seven. Uh, I don't really wanna go any higher just because again, some songs weren't always interesting all the way throughout. I don't wanna go any lower than a seven either just because like, uh, this is some good stuff, and I will just jump on board and say that, yes, this is good music. There you have it. There's the new YBN Corday review. Sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new in town. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.